but yeah, I decided to go uh, real estate full time. Uh, made my or found my current partner Adam Adams today in Blue Spruce, and we started fix and flipping properties and wholesaling properties. Um, and what our strategy was, you know, for every few flips, let's go buy a income asset. You know, we were thinking small at the time. We were thinking again, single family, because that's just kind of what I had under really understood. Um, even though Adam had done some multifamily, um, I was really just engulfed in single family at the time. Um, he was able to persuade me to move into more units. So we went ahead and bought a fiveplex. And again, the light bulb went on that, Hey, we have multiple units under one roof. Like, this is great. What can we do? And, uh, it's kind of like the sky's sky's the limit from there. We started thinking, how can we scale our business? And we came across the syndication model. Welcome to Real Estate Deal Closers with Annette Tali, where we focus on the deals. Our guests are real estate closers who will share in detail the whole process from finding a deal to closing it, as well as strategies and tips to help you do the same. Here is your host, Annette Tali. Welcome to another episode of Deal Closers. I am your host, Annette Tali, and my guest today is Manny Perez. Welcome. Hey, good afternoon, Annette. Great to be here. I'm so happy to see you here. We didn't get to meet in Colorado at the RMS, uh, but I am excited that we're finally getting to talk. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about Manny. He is a full-time investor and co-owner of Blue Spruce Companies. Manny has been investing in real estate since 2013 and understands a great investment deal when he sees one. Manny is also a licensed real estate agent in the state of Colorado. His experience as an investor agent gives Blue Spruce the advantage of knowing the market very quickly and making the transaction go as smooth as possible. For Blue Spruce Holdings, Manny primarily focuses on market research and the rights properties and as a backup for DJ Scruggs and us as the transaction coordinator for the company. Welcome. <laughs> hey, welcome. Th thank you for having me over. So uh, very excited to be on your show and um, looking forward to it. So how did you get into real estate? How did I get into real estate? Um, it started back in actually kind of like house hacked my way. So um, bought my first house and I was still a, a, in my bachelor days and was just uh, just thought, hey, why not um, me and some friends, let's move out of the city, um, get some cheaper rent, I'll buy a house and I'll rent it out to you guys. Um, you know, that was like my first light bulb. I noticed that they were paying the more, they were paying the mortgage and I was making some cash flow on top of it. So it was just, you know, one of those light bulb moments. And I just said, hey, what, you know, what else can I do in real estate? And so um, I went ahead and did that a few more times, basically with single family. And then eventually, uh, decided to um, go real estate full time. So I used to be a probation officer in my former job, um, but yeah, I decided to go uh, real estate full time. Uh, made my or found my current partner Adam Adams today in Blue Spruce, and we started fix and flipping properties and wholesaling properties. Um, and what our strategy was, you know, for every few flips, let's go buy a income asset. You know, we were thinking small at the time. We were thinking, again, single family, because that's just kind of what I had under, really understood. Um, even though Adam had done some multifamily, um, I was really just engulfed in single family at the time. Um, he was able to persuade me to move into more units. So we went ahead and bought a fiveplex. And again, the light bulb went on that, hey, we have multiple units under one roof. Like, this is great. What can we do? And uh, it's kind of like the sky's, sky's the limit from there. We started thinking, how can we scale our business? And we came across the syndication model um, as an excellent way to, one, um, find properties with uh, more units under one roof and to really scale, um, like I said, the investment business and, and the passive income. So that's really kind of how we got started in, uh, in real estate. So. Awesome. And how did you meet Adam? I met Adam on uh, Bigger Pockets. Oh, okay. Like yeah. online? Yeah. So uh, I can't even remember the topic, but there was, you know, how the Bigger Pockets has the forum mm -hmm. and people just post things there that they're asking questions. Me and Adam just kept going back and forth answering someone's question. And uh, eventually I just asked him for, asked him for coffee. Just said, Hey, let's go get coffee. And 
we just kind of noticed that we shared a lot of the same kind of ideals and, um, you know, I guess ways that we wanted to invest in, in property, but we both had different weaknesses and strengths that complemented each other. And we just, um, just got started from there. Awesome. The deal. All right, let's go into the deal. What type of deal and where is it located? All right, uh, I'll go over one of our first deals. It was an 83 unit. It's called the Holiday Terrace Apartments. It's in Branson, Missouri. Um, basically, the class of property, it's, it's like a, it's a B-class property. Um, in an area that I, honestly it's like kind of right on the strip of Branson and if anyone doesn't know Branson it's one of the the biggest tourist destinations in the country and also one of the the best uh or one I'd say top 10 retirement communities in the country so people are actually going there to retire um very entertainment based very um service industry based so um that's kind of where our property lies like I said right on the strip of Branson lots of traffic um goes in and out of in and out of that, you know, area. Okay. So how did you find this deal? Actually ended up finding it through, um, one of our, one of our friends actually, uh, he's kind of like a wholesaler he was looking in multiple areas and, uh, he ended up having this great relationship with the broker and, uh, ended up forwarding this deal to us. And so we actually added him in to our partnership for finding the deal and for um, doing some due diligence help on it as well. So um, it was a win-win for, for everybody. Awesome. All right. So how, what was the listing price of this property and how did you negotiate it and what did you end up paying for it? Uh, listing price, I believe for this property was 4300 um, we ended up paying 3870000 Oh, wow. That's good. So, uh, yeah, we were able to knock off a few, you know, a few hundred thousand off the, off the listing price. Um, How did you good... negotiate this? What type of uh, concessions did you get the owner to give you? Um, you know, at first we were kind of working with more of a seller carry um, option that didn't kind of work out. So, I mean, basically we just kind of informed him about the numbers that we needed to hit. And, uh, he was pretty motivated. Um, this guy was somebody who, um, had some health issues, wanted to move, uh, wanted to move to Florida, just like where you're at and mm -hmm. uh, wanted to be in, in some warmer areas and not have to worry about landlording anymore. So this was actually a truly motivated seller. And, uh, we were pretty much getting a very good ran property. Um, kind of at a kind of at a discount so and it was not uh, listed right so it was kind of you were negotiating just with him there was no competition yep just with just with him and the yeah the, the listing broker knew him they're friends with him and um you know they had told us you know all the construction that they had did with this property they really they actually had renovated every single unit probably put in a good like two and a half million bucks into the property and originally this guy was supposed to hold on to this asset for the rest of his life, but circumstances change. And, um, like I said, the, the guy that found us this deal had a, had a good relationship with the realtor and was able to talk us up and, you know, we were able to, uh, you know, slide right in and, and start talking with the seller and, and with the, uh, with the broker. Awesome. So how did you finance the deal? This was done through an assumption process so um, what made us want to go the assumption route is interest rate was really good it was it's at 4.1 percent so even for nowadays even, even even new debt is you know floating right around that you know four four range maybe a little less but um, you know at the time we looked at this and we we're like you know what the interest rate looks good the rest of the terms look great uh, we'll go ahead and assume this and um, there was enough leverage there that it wasn't going to kill the cash flow, and what I mean by that is, you know, we didn't have to come up fifty percent of the raise. You know, we only had to come up uh, like twenty-five or twenty-seven percent, so it wasn't too bad. Okay, so how does it work when you assume a loan? Do they look at you? Do they look at your credit? Do they? How do they? The bank, because the bank has to 
be involved, correct? Sure. Yep. Bank has to be involved. Um, they just like to see the strength of the team. So they're going to, they're going to look to say who, what all principals are involved and what, and, and how, and how are you guys? So at the time, um, this was one of our first deals. And so we kind of needed that sponsor, you know, somebody to help us with uh, the net worth and uh, the credit, things like that. And so um, he was the main guarantor on the loan. And then, you know, the, some of our other team members, me, Adam, and, you know, DJ had, had looked to be guarantors as well. But, um, yeah, they, they were just looking for that one, that one person to help out. And uh, we were able to assume the loan from there. So uh, they didn't really ask for any reserves or anything like that. So the seller assume, uh, was the guarantor for the loan? Not the seller. Or we found a high net worth person. Oh, okay. okay. You, I was sorry, like, oh. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We found a high net worth person um, to partner up with us. Right. So they, okay. They, perfect. They joint ventured into this deal, and um, we went ahead and went in together. Yeah, like multifamily, we always hear these. Like it's a team effort. It's not just one person buying it. It's a team of people. Like you were find, you know, your friend found the deal and he became part of it, and you guys were buying it, and then you know you had that high net worth net worth individual that joined you. So that you could be able to, to do the loan. Amazing. All right. And Absolutely. So, so did, was this a syndication? Did you raise capital for it? We did raise capital for this syndication. We did a, we did a 506B on that one. Um, so it was just, you know, basically to your, you know, friends, family. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we did a syndication and, and it worked out perfectly. It, you know, we, we raised, uh, I want to say it was like uh, about 1.3 million. For the race okay and that, and that was, was for, for the down payment or, or and repairs or you, it seemed like you didn't have any a lot of repairs on this one yeah that was the perfect thing is the guy had already put in all this money into the property every single unit had been um, completely renovated um the value that we were getting is that he needed to get out so mm -hmm. we were getting this at a discount because he was motivated. Um, so there was, there was kind of our value add, you know what I mean? Or we're, we're getting a value, value proposition because it's um, being underpriced. Okay, awesome. All right, so what was the exit strategy um, for this property? Exit strategy is to go through with the term um, and to exit out in five years. Um, our pro forma would show after five years that we, sh we could be able to give our uh, passive investors, you know, I would say over their hundred percent, um, hundred percent returns, you know, over a five year period. So it ended up being a great deal and ended up being a little over 20% IRR, I believe. So wow, um, it's just the best time to exit. And so that's when we're looking to exit out in year five. So when is that? Is that in the next year or is that in, how many It'll years? It'll be in 20, let me think, 2022, I believe. Okay, so it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. So yeah, we've had it for a few years now. Okay, awesome. Expert tips. All right, so now is the time when I'm, I'm going to ask you to give me three expert tips. And you told me you're going to give me three expert tips on finding deals. <laughs> three expert tips on finding deals. So that is also one of my uh, main roles in the company is to, is to find um, cash, flowing proper, cash flowing properties, merging markets. And so what I've decided to do now is I'm very laser focused. So that's what I would tell you guys find a market if you're just getting started um, or you're having trouble just find one market and dive deep into it um, what i would tell you to do is contact as many brokers as you can and um, try to put them in a crm and build that rapport so that would be my number one tip is is definitely contact brokers in that market those are the guys that are finding the off-market deals they've built relationships with certain sellers and uh, they're in the real no um, tip two, I've also found LinkedIn to be very helpful. So, um, just broadcasting yourself and, um, just looking for the right individuals and messaging them, um, personal messages. I have found it to be very helpful. I have, um, had deals sent to me, um, through meeting people in LinkedIn, whether they're realtors or wholesalers or just, uh, guys that want to, you know, try to 
put deals together. So um, I found it to be very helpful. Um, tip three, I would say is, you know, try to, I would, I would try to build a team and that's kind of what we have right now is after you've maybe been able to put some deals together, get some other people looking for you and uh, doing some of these same things. So um, those are, those are the three things I would recommend. That's excellent. So on the first tip where you say you contact these brokers, how do you sure. get them to, to call you back when you are starting? How do I get them to call me back? Yeah, when like if you're starting and you don't have any deals yet and you want to get sure. into multifamily, how do you create that uh, relationship with them? You know, I, I, I try to just get to know who they are. So, you know, obviously you're going to call them and you're going to tell them, hey, I'm, you know, for me, I'm Manny Perez. I am, uh, you know, multifamily investor that's, you know, really looking into and my, one of my markets is Oklahoma City. So I'm really looking to establish um, my next portfolio here in Oklahoma City. Um, you know, I would like to really see w what types of deals that you're seeing out here. And then just from there, try to build relationship, you know, ask, ask that broker, hey, you know, what do you think of Oklahoma? Um, you know, I, I always ask them about basketball or sports or just little things like that. I always try to build rapport so that they remember me. Um, and then whenever we've spoken or um, if they've done something nice for me, you know, sent me a deal or um, just anything like a co-star report or something, just something minimal. I'll always go and send like a, a postcard or a mailer, you know, Hey, here's um, just a nice thank you card, something like that. Just, just so they can remember me. Maybe, maybe I'll give a little gift card in there, you know, a Starbucks gift card or something, but I try to make myself stand out. Oh, that's awesome advice. I'm like writing it down. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely. And, um, you know, personal messages, they work. And I, I think everyone gets happy when somebody sends them a personal message. So um, I definitely think totally about that. agree. Okay, Manny, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to come to my uh, show and sharing all this wealth of knowledge you have uh, with my audience. Absolutely. Thank you for the, uh, the invitation. And uh, I look forward to uh, hearing more, uh, more guests on your show as well. Thank you. This was Real Estate Deal Closers with Annette Tali, brought to you by Tali Investments. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. Our goal is to provide amazing value on your real estate journey. Connect online at www.taliinvestments.com where you can find this episode and more. Did you like this episode? Subscribe, like, and share.